Hey, Globy. The early explorers sure had a tremendous amount of courage. They used to get on these small ships to explore our world, and they really had no idea what they'd find. Today, humans have been all over the world. Many of us have traveled to different cities, states, and maybe even other countries. But back in the 1600s, that wasn't the case at all. People didn't know what was over the horizon, and no one traveled very far from home. Explorers had to be curious, observant, determined, and willing to take risks. They couldn't be afraid to make mistakes. Today, our explorers are just as adventurous and courageous, especially the men and women who explore outer space. When people talk about outer space, their thoughts often go to NASA, and that makes perfect sense. After all, NASA put an astronaut on the moon, and today they're exploring even further with robotic missions to explore the moons of Jupiter, capture pieces of comets, and even make new discoveries about our moon. But NASA also helps explore Earth, and sometimes it even helps us uncover mysteries from our past. Jamestown, Virginia was founded on May 13, 1607. That's more than 400 years ago. Jamestown is known as the first permanent English-speaking settlement in the New World. That's the part of the world that is now the United States. Once the settlers arrived here, they stayed in spite of many hardships. Talk about courage and not being afraid. Did you know that during the first few years at Jamestown, only 60 of the 500 settlers survived? But new settlers kept coming to the New World, and in time, Jamestown became a thriving community. I bet you're wondering what Jamestown has to do with NASA. Well, for the last several years, scientists at the NASA Langley Research Center have been helping archaeologists at Jamestown by scanning dozens of historic artifacts for Preservation Virginia. This is the organization behind the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. When we started in 1994, we had hoped that we might find some traces of James Fort. And the common idea had, was at the time that the fort had washed away into the James River and no longer existed. But we knew the 400th anniversary was coming up of the founding in 2007. So we wanted to look and see if we could find some traces of it still on dry land. And lo and behold, we found the whole fort. Jamestown's important and people should care about it because it is really the birthplace of our nation. It's where we all began. That started in May of 1607 when 104 men and boys landed at Jamestown and established their English colony which then grew, spread, and we're all speaking English here today because of that little colony that started back in 1607. Archaeologists at Jamestown discovered a piece of slate, which is a type of rock, in a drinking well that dates back to around 1607 to 1611. This well was once in the center of Jamestown Fort. When the settlers first arrived, they built a triangle-shaped walled fort for their protection before they even built shelters for themselves. The slate that was found in the well is covered with drawings of birds, flowers, a tree, several sketches of people, as well as letters and numbers. The slate finding was really, really exciting to us because it's very rare that we find something personal like that, something that's actually been done by someone in the fort, you know, their drawing or their writing or their impressions. And so uh, we don't know at this point whether the animals are depicting the English birds or birds from the West Indies, which would be part of their way to come to Jamestown, or actually birds they saw at Jamestown. We're still working on that. We do think that one of the trees looks like a banana tree, which would be West Indies. And then there's some individuals, some people in um, early 17th century clothing. So it does look like they're sort of passing the time by uh, sketching down what, the, what they're seeing on their way to Virginia, and maybe while they're sitting in Virginia. The slate was also covered with a thin layer of rust, so it was difficult for archaeologists to clearly see the items carved into the slate's surface. That's where NASA comes in. NASA is using a new piece of X-ray technology called the X-Tex HMX ST225. Wow, that is tough to say. This new powerful X-ray system creates a three-dimensional image of an object. This is incredibly helpful to the archaeologists because it allows them to see a three-dimensional view of historic artifacts without having to take the artifacts apart and permanently damage them. Jamestown Rediscovery archaeologists have been working with NASA uh, for non-destructive testing of artifacts. We're trying to get a sneak peek into the artifacts so that our treatment methods will not cause any damage. 
The images on the slate were slightly obscured by a thin layer of rust on a very important portion of the slate, of actual writing. Before we intervened at all on the slate, we wanted to make sure that we would not be removing any of that original text. So we talked to NASA to tell us what was underneath it. They did a wonderful job in picking up that writing and when we did the cleaning, our cleaning confirmed, there's always the chance of it, that information could be lost. And so by doing that test, no information was lost. Just think, Globy, NASA is helping archaeologists uncover the mysteries of primary sources, like the slate artifact, so we can learn more about our own history. Do you think the English explorer who carved those images on the rock knew that one day future scientists would be studying it? It's incredible to think that simple drawings could tell us so much about what our world was like 400 years ago. Gee, Globy, I wonder what clues we're going to leave behind for the people in the future to study. One thing's for sure, we won't be drawing pictures on pieces of slate. But I wonder what archaeologists in the future will think about my new video game. <laughs>